It was with levels of excitement not personally experienced since the grand finale of season one of Big Brother UK that we embarked on a road trip to what's been my favourite beach in Mallorca for several years now. Had I not been born with a face completely incapable of smiling naturally, I would have been grinning from ear to ear at the prospect of spending a full day back in my own personal seaside paradise after an entire year. Granted, at the time of publishing this video, I've not been everywhere on the island, far from it in fact, but should any one of you make the rather leggy and obstacle-laden journey to Calabarques, cheekily hidden behind a deep pine forest on the east of the island, and not think it utterly stunning, there's something fundamentally wrong with your con concept of beauty. Well, all that would have been true until this very year. The year 2020. The year that Mother Nature decided to murder one of her own magnificent children. Now, to be clear, I do have a reputation of sorts for being a bit of a drama queen, but please try not to let that cloud exactly how serious the matter of what happened to Varquez is. Yes, you heard me. Something happened, in inverted commas, and it's taken me about a month to muster up the courage to even look at the video footage, let alone write this stupid voiceover and edit and upload the bloody thing. What, you must be screaming, has happened to this eighth wonder of the world of which you speak? Like the song, did they pave paradise? and put up a three-star all-inclusive hotel? Has Donald Trump turned the whole beach into one giant bunker for a new golfing development? All will be revealed. Well, after you've seen another couple of adverts, that is. Calavarquez is one of several in an area many people refer to as Calas de Mallorca, not far south of Cala Romantica. Unlike its more touristy neighbour, Varquez is a labour of love to reach. You'll need to dump the car up on the main road where most people park, but in the likely event you don't have a space, there's a guy with a makeshift car park charging five euros for the day. After that, you'll need to walk along the road, dodging oncoming traffic to the end of a gated lane and head on down. Twenty minutes later you'll be at the end, and this is where things will get interesting. Every time we've been to Varquez, there's been a new entrance. Some random door, a small hole in a concrete barrier, or in the case of this visit, a demolished wall which some kind soul with a tank seems to have made. Okay, when you get to the end of this lane, you need to come through a wall that looks like it's been blown up with dynamite. Two of them, in fact. Once you pass through the second wall, to be honest, the entrance is changing all the time, so I can't be sure what it's going to be like when you come. The last time we came here, there was a hole in a different wall. But anyway, there's a wall that's been knocked down now in 2020 that you come through and then you come through another one. And uh, oh Christ, you've got to hop over another wall. This is becoming like some Japanese game show. Once through the rubble, we had to jump another wall and then we were in the woods, where another 15-minute scramble in the general direction of the sea awaited us. Thing is, all beaches in Mallorca are public, but grumpy landowners sometimes make it tricky for people to reach them, despite apparently being legally obliged to provide a throughway. Hence why the entrance is always being patched up, and a new one created shortly after by our friend with the tank. Got a bit of a sweat on. It's quite a trek, made even more difficult by the fact that I'm wearing my Menorcan flip-flop sandaly things, which are a traditional shoe in these parts of the world. I'm not very adept at wearing shoes that don't stay on with laces, you know. I feel I have to kind of walk claw-footed and trying to traverse these rocks. It's pretty tricky. It is really, really beautiful though, and nice and cool. It's a really hot day today. So when you come into the forest and you get into the sombra, you get into the shadows, there's a cool breeze coming in from the sea, chilled by the shade. So yeah, it's actually a really nice walk. And here we are, guys. A 
after probably about 30 minutes from the car park, we have reached Calabarques. The water looks amazing. Now I can hear what you're saying, and that's because like your own government, I've hacked your Alexa. You're saying, what was all that drivel about the beach being destroyed? It looks just precious. Well, that's because in order to drag this wafer-thin plotline out as long as possible, I've only shown you some carefully selected shots. However, for the shrewd among you, there's a clue as to what to expect coming right up. We are in Calabarques right now. A completely different beach than what we thought it was, well, what we remembered, but still very enjoyable. My name is Maria, I'm from Argentina, but I live here from right now for eight years. We went two years ago and it was full of beautiful sun. By now it's full of stone, but the water is still delicious. ¿De dónde eres? De Argentina también. Vale, ¿y vacaciones aquí en, sí, en Mallorca? estoy vacacionando en Mallorca. ¿Qué es tu opinión sobre las playas de Mallorca en general? Hermosas. Hermosas. Muy lindas, muy lindas. No me puedo, que, no puedo elegir una. No puedo elegir una. Son hermosas todas. Claro en serio. Sí. En serio que sí. Well, there we go. I've risked the future of the YouTube channel by coming into the water with a camera that currently is not waterproof. I'm also a little bit drunk as well, so this is a pretty irresponsible decision. And talking of irresponsible decisions, it was time to go and check out the local cliff jumping scene. Calavarquez is a renowned spot for people that want the feeling of leaping to their death but with a happy, splishy, splashy ending, as opposed to a splatty, sploogy, oh god, cover the children's eyes type one. I've personally never seen the attraction, although I have been bullied into the odd jump before. Honestly, my idea of extreme sports is eating a packet of scampi fries before a first date. But if a leap from a massive big rock into deep blue water floats your boat, then Barquez will delight. Half an hour watching children as young as nine jump their age in meters without so much as a deep breath was enough to make me feel the size of a Lego person. So I sheepishly walked with some of our group to the famous natural rock archway that sits a few minutes round to the north of the beach. Mad people also like to jump off this monstrously high thing. So if you are a daredevil influencer and want to risk your actual one and only life to barely entertain your 1300 Instagram bots, I mean followers, you should really keep this place in mind. But all this talk of cliffs has reminded me about my own cliffhanger. Well, you'll be glad to know I've finally decided it's time to spill the beans as to why we were so sad when we arrived at Calabarques that day. So for the remaining 25% of you that are still watching, here's me and my good Spanish lady person with the scoop. Well guys, we've come to Calabarques, my favorite beach today, and we're in shock. If I'm honest, the beach has been completely transformed. I'm actually so traumatized, I need a drink. Give me a drink, Kiki. Kiki, what's happened to the beach? Well, it, it wasn't the beach that we used to know. It's um, 
it's rocky it suddenly became a rocky beach when it used to be a lovely sandy beach and it's not anymore you have to actually wear the rocky shoes to get in and out so we are we were in shock anyway we didn't know what would happen so i went and spoke to one of the guys that's selling beer here because these guys are here every year i was like what happened to the beach and he said there was a storm storm gloria if you remember i don't really remember there's storms all the time all around the world and they've all got names and i'm not good with names i'm not good with names in real life like hi my name's john i'm like five minutes later i've got no idea what the guy's called but anyway storm gloria apparently swept over Mallorca and kicked up all this debris and the, the water must have come all the way up the beach and and there's just debris everywhere it's a real shame because Barquez was one of these beaches it was just it was paradise mixed emotions day here at Cala Barquez well, to be honest nice time. we've had a great time we've been drinking beer so yeah, I'll drink some more because I am emotional. I'm not going to lie. Well, I am lying a wee bit. C'est la vie, as it's they like say. Going to an old pub that you remember in a certain way, and then it's completely changed, and you're expecting something completely, utterly different. We're standing right now, currently, in some Roman ruins. I hope these are Roman. They might be from the 1960s. Who knows? What do I know? But we're standing in some ruins. It's a fitting metaphor, I think, for our for our dreams for today. They've been a bit ruined. Haven't they? Do you like that? It's pretty good, isn't it? Anyway. Guys, that's it for today at Calabarcas. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and please consider subscribing. Also, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Do you come to Mallorca? Do you know the place like the back of your hand? Please leave me a comment and I will do my very best to get back to you. Guys, thanks again for watching and see you on the next video.